Hello, it's Suzy Scomfin here for a story time. Actually, a message from the man behind this combat, Senpai himself, Kazutoki Kono. In this video, I'll be doing a commentated reading of some of his, his tweets where he talked about his Kuma 7's development. It, it was bad, but in the end, it was it was good. Uh, it, it gets it's quite emotional. And I know many of you don't have a Twitter account and don't know what the stuff that, that goes there, so I thought I would I would make this video, but I highly encourage you to be on Twitter. There's a lot of good stuff for Ace Combat. I don't know about the other stuff. That's to your discretion. Now I know many of you don't speak Japanese. Even my Japanese is not that good to the point that I can heed I can read his tweets. So thank you to Task Force 23 for translating Kono's tweets for the knowledge of you know the international Ace Combat fans. Task Force is one of them helps me a lot of the translations and this is another example. Thank you so much, okay? Many thanks to you. And hence I'm making this video to you know spread the spread the knowledge. But all the credits for the translation to Task Force. Be sure to follow him as well if you do go on Twitter, Kono, me, and, and Task Force. There's a lot of great people there as well. So let's go. Disclaimer. Here's Kono's string of tweets. This more in detailing is Command 7's development. Had to divide and quarterly because of character limits, because it's Twitter. I uh, recommend having a handkerchief nearby. The feels. It's a true story. Alright, let's go. Everything below here is what Kono said. I'll be doing the commentator reading. Uh, Ace Combat 7 is the first number title in 12 years. The idea was dormant for two years since it was since its proposal because there was a strong directive to maximize priority on free-to-play games. And remember that was around Infinity's time. Unfortunately, uh, Ace Combat Infinity was supported for uh, four and a half years and during that time the team was convinced that Ace Combat 7 could be realized if it was on new hardware. Remember because Ace Combat Infinity was on PS3 only but it's already it was already when the PS4 was uh, a big thing and the Xbox One as well. But it died uh, once after it was created, because there was something only to be looked at. It wasn't something we could deliver to those fans that had been waiting for so long and waiting a numbered Ace Combat. He was talking about Ace Combat 7, not Infinity, okay? Just make that clear. It was uh, very tough, it was painful, because the cries of the fans from when it was announced at PSX ran in my ears we had to start over. Remember, it's coming 7, now PSX 2015, a long time. And I'm sure I was not the only one who cried. It was, it was a very emotional reveal of the game. There were times when we were laughed at for being displayed in the PSX in consecutive years. People joked, is it really going to fly? However, we firmly gained the potential of VR during that time. Even that even though it seemed like a lump of disappointment at first. Everything didn't work and we had and each day brought nothing but pain. The team and I could no longer imagine what the goal would be like. So I decided to start over. Though it was for the fans it caused a huge inconvenience to the company. No, to everyone involved. I apologized many times, made enormous amounts of materials, persuaded, asked, explained, presented, did everything conceivable, moved, talked, and was going crazy in order to move forward. Christmas of last year. I was a bit confused with saying last year because 2018 the game was finished already. So does, did he mean 2016, 17? I, I don't know. Um, Christmas of last year. Organization began. Ace Combat 7 became a large-scale project. That was because we pulled out of offshore development. But we started moving forward, little by little. What was reassuring? What was reassuring was that a former colleague and a former main developer joined the team together. Wait, you're going to do Ace Combat? Words as I said many times. Two producers who you fans have gotten familiar with also join. I suppose he's talking about Shimamoto and Tamaoki, the VR guy, and Shimamoto, the producer of the game itself, not the brand. And to be honest, I might have been the only mad, crazy person in the world up to that point. It's fine if it's this is the end. I could only think about moving forward. There was even a time where someone directly called my boss saying to keep Kono away from development, to get rid of him, that he asked for too much. 
But the boss stood up for me saying, I don't think that's the case. And from then on, the painful days resumed. The quality didn't improve, was boring. We didn't know why we should continue making it. There wouldn't be any difference if we put it in as, as it is or build it in later. Because it is a company, time and money are limited. One day I was called by the boss who stood up for me. Ace Combat, we stop it now and break it up or continue as it is. Which one has the best future of the brand? Will you do it for Ace Combat? Shimamoto and I gave an immediate reply saying, we'll continue as it is. We were called and questioned suddenly, so we didn't meet beforehand. The two of us were beginning to see the end go. All right, let's continue, we said. I was able to get him to believe in it by looking at it objectively, even though we were at the rock bottom. But I was only able to get his trust. From then on, I suffered through pain that made me want to cry. And I had to get our decision to continue approved by the company. Concise materials with no mistakes in each and every word. Extremely short footage filled with the charm of Ace Combat. I faced them with only these things. Huh. I was going to write about how things were until it was finally, finally delivered to you guys. But it's kind of impossible tonight. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Alright, let's disperse tonight. Everyone, let's go to sleep. To everyone who read this, thank you very much. I am grateful. I wanted to write this down while my memory was still clear. Have a good night. It's got a bit of a touching story. And I've been following, if you've been following the interviews of Ace Combat with, with Kono, he did mention in a few of them, you know, that sometimes the developers, they, they're doing something for so long, they they kind of don't know if it's going to be good or not, so they get they get tedious, they just want to get it over with, over with it. And what Kono was saying in this story is that Ace Combat, Ace Combat 7 had a build that they, 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 won there and they announced that back at the PSX 2015, the one we, we all watched and we cried, or I hope we cried, I did cry. Uh, but that build was not good. And in other in other industries, in other companies, they would just continue as it is. That's why you have so many crappy games coming out today from big studios. But he took the feedback from us, the fans. And he said, no, this is Ace Combat. We're here for the quality. Let's hit this, the reset button. Let's get that V2. Start from scratch, make a good build. And that's why the game got delayed. And I think in the end, we're pretty happy that that was the course of action. It's it's not an easy decision to delay a game for over two years. But that's that's the length they went for us. The Pretty Aces uh, went for us. And I'm very happy that, that they did that. They've shown what Ace Combat is capable of. Maybe Ace Combat 7 is not the perfect game, but I guess we can all agree it was a pretty good return to the series. And we've, we've been alive for over 20 years. We're still alive, buddy. So, I don't know if Econo is or someone from Bandai watching. I just want to say thank you. And I think in name of all the fans, I think we were very uh, open, open-minded, very accepting of the delays that happened. Because quality is what makes Ace Combat great. And those are the steps that the, that they took for us. So that's the message Kano posted on on Twitter. You know, I, I'm kind of getting emotional. I don't want to cry right now, but I just want to say thanks, thanks Kano, thanks not only Kano but the team for for doing the quality. It's it's the entry we needed, and I'm pretty sure Ace Combat Seven is gonna be Ace Combat this year is gonna be alive for a long time. Anyway, I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop speaking now. I just want to say. I really appreciate what they did and thank you Kondo for you know sharing. You know, I know maybe the beginning is not the best, but you know, at the end of every after every night morning comes, right? That's what that's what A Wax Ghost I would say. And so thank you for watching. Hope this message made you feel more enlightened, more happy, knowing a little bit what happened, why the game got delayed, 
the build wasn't good but they said let's do it from scratch let's make another one that's gonna be great here we are after the release of the game i think everyone is pretty much satisfied with the game man thank you Kono, and thank you also task force 23 for for translating that for the the mortals that us we could don't speak japanese that good so thank you task force thank you so much for for you for watching if you stayed until till now i guess i guess you care so yeah, that's it. Let me know what you think in the comments and be sure to be sure to, to join Twitter. It's really good for Ace Combat stuff. I'm not just talking about my, my account, but even you know Fallen Pride Aces, Kono, some other great people there's really interesting stuff, moments moments like this. Anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you guys 